how monitoring your blood flow could have or be directly correlated to aging. So why is it finding a place in the mainstream today? Tell us about the importance of blood flow in the brain, relevance to aging, so on and so forth. Let's understand two things. One. Yes, cerebral blood flow is very important. It's very critical to your emotional regulation, homeostasis, memory, cognitive functions. But why just the brain? You know, blood flow is important to every major organ. Uh, your heart, your kidneys, your liver, your gut, your muscle and skin. Even if, you know, blood flow is getting restricted and it's a fact, if you sit for long hours yeah. at your desk, uh, you know, as they say, sitting is the new smoking. So blood flow is impacted. But guess what? We have tools and techniques available to improve your blood flow. So when you move your spine, when you do good yogic postures yeah. or certain good exercises, where you're twisting, bending the spine, holding your breath whilst you do it, it's almost acting like a mechanical pump to ensure that the blood flow to the brain is accelerated. So right habits is all it Hence, takes, right? Imagine monitoring that on, absolutely. on every single level through the day. In a country like India, Mr. Bagrodia, where anxiety and burnout are rising as is, do such devices then offer help or do they end up adding pressure to always performing better? You know, uh, it's called interoception, which is your mind-body connect. Mm. You know, so when you when you feel hunger pangs you know your stomach is grumbling you know you're hungry you don't need a device to tell you how much to eat when to eat and i dare say you know we'll have a device someday which says hey you know please go to the toilet or don't go to the toilet so when do we when do we draw the line on how much of our internal awareness do we want to outsource to an external device? Let's leave the temple device alone for a bit. Tell us about the current consumer neurotech sure. overall. Is it anywhere close to actually optimizing brain performance? You know, whether we like it or not, healthcare today is entirely data driven. How can you go and treat a person without getting, let's say, blood work done or yeah. without getting imaging done? But that does not mean that you do an X-ray every day, an yeah. MRI every day, you know, uh, uh, blood work every day. 